Walk through a question really quick that I saw in the community come up, and it's a question around regex. I've seen this come up a couple of times, so I wanted to address that. One is uh, the question, in particular, was, um, and I'll actually bring this over. The question in particular for this one was extracting a four digit year out of the date using regular expression. Um, it's quite simple. So the person's getting potentially this is a current date time stamp that comes from either um, the created by or the created date in a workflow. It could be something that's just a timestamp and they want to get the year. So, how do you do that? Um, and Nico actually posted the correct response here use regex. You can actually extract the date. So, this will do this as a consecutive date uh, when the digits actually there four consecutive digits to grab that um, and so how we did that uh, is quite simple um, also here's a regex. so I actually went this regular expression uh, tester out there so I went and looked at this and it did do the match and it tells you that's a full match within the group so I know that, that is actually capturing the correct thing so let's look at that really quick <clears throat> and see how do I do that so first thing I want to do was actually I'm gonna create a variable and the reason for that is I want to capture the date time um so don't have to but do date and i'm going to do that as a date time and i'm going to set the value to the value when the action is executed i could come in here and i believe do this where is it at um i think it's uh let's look up current item that I can do create it so when I'm just created I can capture that date but um that's a bit clunky when I can just simply say use the date when the access execute so when this workflow runs grab the date um in this case it'll be date time um so I do that um for me one of the things I've learned is actually just logging it so uh, I do this just so I can see what's happening um so I'm going to actually output that as a log so date comes in as date time it shows you that so I'm going to output that and the next thing what I want to do is actually do regular expression. So I want to take the date and using the formula that he provided, I want to now extract that and do an extraction against this variable. So date and extract it. And I'm going to grab that pattern really quick again. So this pattern here is what's used. Um, you could throw it into, um, if you want, throw it into notepad or something to kind of clean it up, make sure there's no other kind of hidden characters or whatever. Um, so I'm going to do that and then place the regex here ignoring case doesn't really matter because it's numbers here you want to make sure it's extraction and the output you have to output it to a new variable in this case um, so let's just go extract year so let's do year extract here um, the interesting thing is this is actually a collection um, so um, the collection here uh, it's a collection because it could be multiple values coming out of this so it comes out as a collection so something to be aware of so to get that I'm gonna do a few things this is gonna be fun um, I'm gonna log that so I see what comes out of that collection I know what it is but I'm gonna log it anyway just for my own sanity and then I'm gonna use a get item um, and get item from collection because I know that there should be one value coming through that I'm going to set the index to that value zero, which is the first value in the collection. And then I'm going to out that, output that to another variable, which is called, which is simply called year only. And you can do it as text, you can do it as number. Um, if you need the date for a particular reason, you can do it as number. Um, text is what I prefer because it's just value at that point. So I'll save that. And then I'm going to do another log because I want to output that I can store this back onto the list I can do a list update or update list item such as this so wherever I want to update list item etc but in this case just for the testing I'm going to output this again you're only to save and so now I have walked through this the variables set the date it's going to basically do regex get the item from the collection it's going to output that so i can see it and then save and publish that and when that runs so i've already ran this um and i already have a workflow it's already there i'm going to figure out how to get back to everything um so let's just go here i already ran this once and you can see what this looks like so i've got a workflow here and complete it which is great so here gives me the full date because I actually did a log 
it tells me what the regex will provide and then if I get the item out of that it tells me where I'm getting that actual number so you can see that that is actually happening in real time so that does work pretty easy to use for regular expression so using the regex to get the year um, and you can find the video uh, and the link to that or the actual export of the workflow is available as well for you to import and try at least to tinker around with that if you have any questions definitely reach out to the community or ask us here and we'll be glad to help you out Thanks.